Hey there, this is OneUp India giving you a hopefully short and compressed version of what to expect from GameMaker in 2023. So basically you got this article, which it has a few things which I'm going to mention not in there, but of course I'm referring myself to the long 30 plus minute video with, where they explain a lot of things. But if you want to know uh, the, the fast, uh, quick and dirty version plus what that actually means, then here you go. So the first thing is what do we actually have So the current state? If you think so, um, well, if you look into GameMaker, we got ourselves some new features. I don't know, the particle system, uh, move and collide. Where are you? I guess I can find you here. No, I can find you here. So a few things, then we got ourselves some restructuring of the engine, performance updates, SD, T fonts? Wasn't it SDF? I don't know. Um, so audio <laughs> effects and some other stuff. Alrighty. But of course, if you say like, hey, I want to meet the uh, team of Game Maker, so the YoYo team. You can actually do that in meetups in Italy, Poland, the UK, Germany, Argentina, and Brazil. Or you can actually, at least I think you can find them this year as well in August and the Gamescom in Cologne, so in Cologne, Germany. And um, well, you can meet them. And there will you will find the other evils also beside you guys you are cool and you are pretty cool also uh, <laughs> you can find them on the gamescom and then um i guess you can just you know pitch them your resume have make a dance in front of them i don't know or just meet them have a nice little pleasant talk about game maker and so on so here you got yourself a chance to meet them if you are in clone in that kind of time Alrighty, and then one of the last things, they are changing how that thing works. So basically the assets which are kind of bound to subscribers, so just subscribers were getting access to the, all of them. And, and at, in the future, they will be free for everybody. So this is um, Wowtzee, Yatesee from my side. I guess these guys are the most useful ones. The other stuff is kind of limited because let's say you make an hex game and you want to have more tiles in this kind of specific style well you're out of luck because it's just one thing and that's this is where it ends so cool for prototypes not so much for a full game but once again free is free and then let's go into one thing which is kind of cool so basically this what you're seeing in front of you is the dead cells and what they did is take a 3d animation of a character and put it into a game uh, clamping it down to a 2d sprite and this is basically what this tool from them the 2d to 3d tool or 3d to 2d tool it's just basically clamping it down if you got some model files from blender and so on you can just uh, well do a similar thing and then the last thing which is well the marketing and what to expect in the future from them then here one of my gripes just read it yeah. not the biggest fan of that but well this is the way it goes not gonna comment on that because well <laughs> not everybody will love that decision but maybe it will be overthrown so hey um, i'm always cheering on that part if it does happen then the next thing is they will be uh, enabling um svg import SVGs are kind of important because SVGs are not bitmaps. So quick explanation. Bitmaps are these things here. They are just dots with transparency um, or no transparency, but basically just dots on the thing. But of course, if you got uh, SVG, this is kind of a vector based thing, which is pretty sweet because vector based um, images are infinitely scalable up and down and they never lose quality. This is very important for my mobile developers so here good that they will support that in the future so this is upcoming for now you can just import svgs and they will be uh, clamped down to uh, bitmaps which is okay also but eh, we want to have the real deal here so that's what to be expected in the future and then they want to change the code editor which is uh, this thing here which is kind of cool so this is an optional thing where you have everything your uh, a drop down objects and then they are in well inside um, step events and so on and then you can have actually everything in one little 
code editor, which is pretty convenient. So this is of course optional, but hey. Then the next thing is the prefab library, kind of similar what you we have already at tools and import mark uh, import local package. So basically you can just have um, game maker, I don't know, files, I don't know, sprites or scripts or something. You just package them together and then you create it. And then in, you can just import them into another project because I don't know, you want to reuse them in somewhere else. And basically prefab is doing the same, but here it's kind of a separate entity. So therefore this is an external library uh, where you just load and stuff which you want to use. And the idea is, for example, that you can um, update these libraries. So it could be, I don't know, buttons or some UI elements, or I don't know, some scripts, some sprites or whatever. And these things can get updated externally and therefore um, it makes sense to separate them from the actual uh, well project file. So that's pretty much the thing, kind of cool. So you, you can expect to have, I don't know, drag and drop things which you well, this is how they expand it. You just drag it and drop it into your project file and then you can use it. The thing, for example, <laughs> that thing here, that's their marketplace. They want to uh, update it. Well, uh, it's supposed to getting, uh, I don't know, something, something made to it because for now it's kind of meh. It's functional, but it's kind of, well, it's meh. <laughs> but so, but they will update it in the future somewhere. So it's kind of in limbo right now. And then the one of the last things, which they said, um, they kind of wanted to roll out multiplayer, but they will freeze it until the next year when the new runtime is done. So which runtime am I referring to? Once again, that two tier, which is gonna get finished next year. And then it replaces the old um, game maker too. So here there is no going back as it seems. So hopefully that was a cohesive and um, informative thing. So that's cool. It's not so cool. <laughs> and then that's pretty powerful to be honest. And then a few things, there will be some modding, um, AI integration. That's some, I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully just assisted assistant systems, which are pretty sweet with AI. And uh, we will see what that brings to the place. All right, that was it from my side. Hopefully now you understand what the cool stuff uh, is coming up from and what all these changes do mean and what they kind of entail. See you in the next one. Have a good one. One up, Indy.